Unbelievable, Chief. Chief of Police Grand Junction. Okay, so I'm sitting over at... Here, let me do it this way. Oh, I gotta clean the camera. Okay, that might be a little bit better. So I'm drinking my Red Bull over at Walmart. All right, so there's that receipt. And I go back in to get ready for work. Yeah, plasma donation, whatever. So for whatever reason, PD stops by, explains to me in their system they have a warning notice of trespassing. Never got served to the court. He vaguely puts the entire Rimrock Shopping Center. Doesn't put the location behind Walmart. So Walmart would have been appropriate there. Gets the right court that it, it goes to. Apparently writes a... It says a CRS. There's no such thing as a CRS. It's a before whatever. That must be Grand Junction Municipal. But he does reference to me from his uh, quick reference pocketbook, the state law, that he referenced or is primarily relying on. So now I'm over here. I'm going to go back to my history. See if it'll jump back to what I pulled up while I was there or while we were discussing. Wow, why is it surging? Oh. Turn the brightness up. So basically what I told him was good luck trying to prove unlawfully enters or remains. So that's the state statute that he cited to me. And somehow it's illegal to be shopping. I mean, everybody lawfully gathers to go shopping. I don't, I don't get the crap that's going on. So he's trying to enforce a prior warning of the profit and loss gal harassing me that's still lingering in the system that never got served with the court within 14 days. How is that not harassing tampering with the victim and witness. And I told him I have video evidence of that incident. And somehow it's unlawful. I, I'm dumbfounded, absolutely dumbfounded. So this is kind of basically where the subject would change to the court. I gotta pull up uh, print the actual communication yesterday to the chief of police primarily so it appears it could be an extensive act of retaliation by the chief of police because it was sent to the chief first and foremost Banners at the bottom of the uh, trial version. Alright. So just yesterday, he was sent a communication of the harassment of law enforcement. So it's an act of intimidation or ret retaliation. So, um, as soon as they left from behind me, went around me, 
I went ahead and relocated to Lowe's. Wow, that's extremely bright. It's posted on here. So that could be a separate act of tampering with the victim and witness. Right? Issuing a fictitious certificate, issuing a false certificate, false restraining order for 55 years from Walmart for purchasing products and repairing my car. I, like, definitely, I'd be asking for a competency evaluation if I was the officer because those are heavy charges to have to defend against. So the officer... I asked the officer if his claim was based upon a previous notice and he said it was so it appears the municipal ordinance same code that he used I didn't show him it I didn't pull him out pull it out I just told him I had several of them Twenty ninety nine, huh? So that's issuing an emergency protection order until twenty ninety nine for repairing my radiator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, your officers need some drug tests. Anyway, this was the last officer that I had contact with that I briefed to him and told him that. You know, they failed to serve it to court in 14 days. But it, he told me it's still sitting in their system. And this is all the receipts that I have for that instant, instance in which I have video evidence of the profit and loss gal harassing me in the parking lot. And apparently I, I'm going to have to scan these in as they are now. It's wear and tear, looks like, from sitting in the car friction is destroying some of them so but they're all throughout the time frame the span is why I was working on the car trying to get it back so it could actually be mobile so like in the email addressing the chief primarily first and foremost I said I had to start a new playlist. So basically taking this video and others that are similar to the harassment Anyway, while I'm repairing the radiator using Walmart products, I get harassed by the profit and loss gal supervisor that basically probably has trained all the other people to harass the general public too. So, and this is the only video evidence. I don't save it on my hard drive or anything like that once it gets compiled. So that's the public disclosure and evidence linked to the original criminal activity by the profit and loss gal. She was training that gal. So and one last, I guess, review of this before I have to go put an application in for a public defender now. Like, it doesn't appear that I ever sent this video communication to the chief of police. I honestly thought the harassment would stop, but I don't see any notation in the notes. Like, I prepped it to do it, but with all the freaking ongoing garbage in the divorce case, it's pretty hard to keep up with all the harassing parties.
so yeah usually I have a notation at the bottom of it so it never got sent to the chief of police okay so and this is the other thing is these two proceedings are pending so during the pendency of a proceeding your officer is going to continue harassing me and issuing their fictitious citations but now you're going to go ahead and carry it over into the municipal court this time as to which I've got to explain to them that you know that statute says I can't be on municipal property so if a city statute says that then obviously I can't park on a freaking uh, court property not that I found a law that says something contrary to the family friendly court but your officers have a totally different delusional perspective but that doesn't change the fact these officers are now actually retaliating against me for reporting their criminal activity to the Department of Justice for the legislators that apparently they have to put together a new law of defining what profiling is you know discrimination clearly there's enough information in their system about pending proceedings and they're gonna freaking try to profile me and try to compound um, the issues and tamper with me during the proceeding I barely have enough money to file the upcoming uh, hearing uh, mailing because I've got to pay for at least the freaking mailing the the printing is not too bad um, but donating plasma it's pretty hard to freaking represent yourself just the basic stuff and they're gonna throw more garbage on it basically delay the proceeding because I can't afford to even send a freaking motion that's profiling um, See, this kind of stupidity is why we got so many freaking laws. There's one last thing. The officer was nice and polite. Uh, he told me I could move over to Lowell's. I wasn't restrained from Lowell's. Not that I'm restrained from Walmart, but that's what his system's telling him. Um, I looked in my um, left side driver mirror and the way they were parked behind me, because I was slightly on a, a curve there before the uh, fire um, safety strip zone. I could tell that it was one of the officers that uh, was there at the scene when uh, the motorcycle officer in that video evidence of the profit and loss gal harassing me. Uh, he was one of the officers there. So as a new officer being trained by another officer that's been deceived by another officer. Um, so apparently they don't have anybody in the higher ranks that actually understands the law and then they're duplicating their harassment and training new officers it's just going to get worse so the leadership sucks clear and evident it's just compounding well, so I found a different shaded area although so yeah, it gives me a little bit more expanded time. I'm moving around, but I'm still harassing, hurting, hurting people like animals, basically. So, jump back to, to explain to the court the conspiracy. So, it'd be this officer, uh, Kevin Bavar. who first initially issued the fictitious restraining order. And I'll stop it here and play it and find the officer that I can identify that was training this officer for this notice. So in the original video, I'll be clear, but just referencing quickly to the time stamping approximately where the conspiring officer that's aiding his criminal activity of harassment with the profit and loss gal store wherever you're at if you're on Walmart, this guy is the one that was training okay. the officer for okay. this that's entertaining. That'll be a summons or citation okay. so anyways um i just need you to sign here print your name and date it if you would for his me. beard is much right. fuller this time yeah it's not even uh unlawful 
uh, detainer or forced entry. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't think they're saying that by any means. They're just saying they're trespassing. They want you removed from the property. They no longer want you on their property. We got so for that incident, that officer would have video footage for that day. That's a conspiracy between those two officers for this summons event. Have a great day, have a great day.